Today, the University of Hong Kong observes the inauguration of eight new and bow professorships. And we are gathered here to witness an exceptional occasion in which so many members of our community step forward to acknowledge the world-class research that is conducted at this university. Under the leadership of Professor Lao Chu Pak, the Faculty of Medicine's Cardiology Division has gained worldwide recognition for its groundbreaking research into pacing for irregular heart rhythm and heart failure. We have pioneered in the use of uh, rate adaptive pacing, a pacemaker capable of changing the heart rate with respect to the patient's demand. We have also pioneered in the use of the patient's own bone marrow cells to create blood vessels. And finally, we are, we are creating, using a biological system, biological pacemakers. A graduate of Hong Kong U, Professor Lau is a leading international expert on the treatment of cardiac arrhythmia and is a visiting professor of five major universities in China. I'm thrilled uh, with this endowment. This is a recognition of the work done by myself and my team in the field of cardiology. And it's a great honor yeah, to me to uh, receive additional funding from the university uh, to support my current and future researchers. Chinese studies is one of the greatest traditions at Hong Kong U, and Professor Sin is one of its most distinguished scholars. My department is unique as a, a conglomerate in the uh, studies of Chinese language, literature, history, philosophy, culture and translation. A world-renowned expert on Chinese philology, he's a prolific author who's written more than 20 books. A graduate of Hong Kong U himself, his current research focuses on the recently excavated bamboo scripts from the Warring States period. The texts contain previously unknown Confucian writings and are written in characters that are undecipherable except to experts. Hong Kong U has a long tradition of electrical engineering and Professor Felix Wu has brought the department to international recognition. A professor at University of California, Berkeley before joining Hong Kong U, Professor Wu is an advisor to research institutes and power companies around the world. After the U.S. blackout, uh, the U.S. Electric Power Research Institute commissioned us to do a study to prevent uh, a future blackout. He is also helping in the technical aspects of the Chinese government plan to connect regional power grids into a national grid. This uh, endowed chair will uh, help us uh, to uh, expand our exchange program uh, so that we can collaborate uh, even more. This endowment, in fact, um, consists of donations from hundreds of people. Um, they are our friends as well as our alumni. Karen Lam graduated from Hong Kong U's medical faculty in 1976, the top student in her year. Her mentor throughout her career has been Rosie Young. An endocrinologist of the highest standing, both at home and abroad, Professor Lam worked in Britain, the US and Australia before founding the Diabetes Center at Queen Mary Hospital in 1994. Her recent research has led to a major breakthrough for patients with diabetes. Uh, we found a new hormone uh, which can lower the blood glucose level and also we found several new drugs 
uh, that can be used for the treatment of diabetes. Professor Lam Shu Kum is one of the world's leading gastroenterologists. A graduate of the Faculty of Medicine, he has been its dean now since 2001. His recent research has focused on eradicating stomach cancer in China. We are very excited by one piece of work that we've done in China. What we've found is if we kill off a certain germ in the stomach, of Chinese uh, rural uh, people, um, we can prevent stomach cancer. Professor Lam is guest professor at five universities on the mainland. He's been awarded an OBE and the prestigious Bocchus Medal from the World Congress of Gastroenterology for his achievements in the field. It's a great excitement and um, I think we are deeply honoured by this uh, most generous donation from the SHO Foundation. Professor Raymond Liang is an international opinion leader on the treatment of lymphoma and the blood cancers which are prevalent in this region. We are the expert uh, in doing bone marrow transplantation on patients who are also uh, chronic hepatitis B carriers. A graduate of this medical school, Professor Liang has made great contributions to the setting up of the first all-Chinese unrelated marrow donor registry in the world. Under his leadership, the hematology division has become a leading center in molecular genetics. The study of the genes which cause cancers and those genes which suppress them. Well, this uh, receiving an endowment chair is certainly a great honor for me. Professor Lo Chung Mao is a leading international expert on hepatobiliary surgery. He is best known for pioneering the use of live donors for liver transplantation. Living with liver transplantation is done in the past for children only. The Department of Surgery at the University of Hong Kong is the first in the world to extend this operation to adult patients by taking the right side of the liver, which is two-thirds of the total liver volume, for transplantation purpose. And since we did the first case in 1996, other countries have started to do this and copy what we have done. The survival rate of patients under Professor Lowe is already the best in the world, significantly higher than the international average, and the money from the endowment will enable him and his team to look now at improving the patient's quality of life after surgery. Professor Yoon Kwok Young played a leading role in helping Hong Kong through one of its darkest hours. It was at Hong Kong U that the SARS coronavirus was first identified in March 2003. The burden on the shoulder is very heavy. Um, everybody is working their guts out. It was Professor Yoon's team which identified the civic cat as the probable origin of the SARS virus. The honor belongs to the team, it's, it's not just to myself. Without all of them, nothing could be done. His department is also known internationally for its research into avian influenza H5N1. His contribution to the control of SARS has been recognized with a Silver Bohemia Star Award. I 
think the town-gown partnership is vital for the sustainability of any advanced economy like Hong Kong. There's no successful economy in the world without a vibrant tertiary education sector. And I think more and more public-private partnership in tertiary education is what lends its vibrancy and sustainability.